Katarina Reroll has stayed under the radar and secretly been one of the strongest comps, but it needs to be played in a certain way in order to be successful. And in this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about the comp. This is a comp that wants to get 3 star Katarina, and we'll get that by slow rolling at level 6, and we will do that with this board, where Nico is our main tank and Katarina is our main carry. For this comp, we need to have Katarina as our headliner, specifically with Crowd Diver as the headliner trait. Country does not work that well, as you're not able to go 6 Crowd Divers late game, which is needed if we want to win games instead of just top 4ing. However, if you are hard forcing Katarina every game, then you sometimes can pick up Country Katarina and then end up with this board, but you never want to do that unless you have to. Our 3 star priority is Katarina, and we can also go for Nico 3 star, but it's not needed as we can still get far with just 2 star Nico as our tank. After hitting the 3 stars you need at level 6, you will start pushing levels, and eventually end up at level 8 with this board. We always need to push straight to level 8, as we have to get in 6 crowd divers. Katarina is our main carry, so we prioritize making items for her first. She has very specific items, her first item comes from the super fan trait, and that item is Hand of Justice. Her second item is Jewel Gauntlet, as we want her spell to crit so that she can one-shot the enemy backline. Especially since we get one Hodge from Superfan, this increases her crit chance. Her third item wants to be a second Hodge. This makes her crit chance 100%, and it also gives her a bit more healing, which is needed when she is sitting in the second row. If you're able to get some healing augments, or augments like Jeweled Lotus, then you can substitute the third item on Katarina for an item like Archangels or Sojin to increase your damage. However, these cases don't come up that often, so the vast majority of the time, your Katarina items will be Double Hodge and a JG. After you made Katarina items, we want to make items for Nico. Here is a tier list of the best items to place on Nico, and the best item on her is Ionic Spark, as it will allow Katarina to get through tanks easier, especially if they have Dragon's Claw. The next best items on her are Redemption, Steadfast Heart, Crown Guard, Protector's Wow, and Adaptive Helm. These are items that scale with HP and shields, and that is great since Nico gets a ton of that from Guardian, KDA, and her own spell. If you still have items left over, then you want to build items for either Zed or Kiana. Here is a tier list of their best items. They want very similar items, and you will build items on whichever you find first. Most of the time that will be Zed, but Kiana with items can be a serious secondary carry, so always make sure to itemize her even if you itemize Zed first. If you get a spatula, you cannot build any good emblems, therefore you will either turn it into a Tactician's Crown, or be sad, as it will just be left there on your bench. <sighs> portals are still in the game, although they have been changed a bit. For this comp, the best portals are Unit Accelerator, Champion Duplicator, Scuttle Puddle, Prismatic Augment Last, Player Health Increase, and All Augments Prismatic. The best augments for this comp are Idealism, Team Building, Harmacist, Jewel Lotus, Golden Ticket, New Recruit, Frequent Flyer, Gifts from the Fallen, Crash Test Dummies, Tiny Titans, Contagion, Remember Your Roots, Inspiring Epitaph, and Silver Veil. I mentioned a lot of augments there, and the best ones out of those are Gifts from the Fallen, Golden Ticket, Idealism, Harmacist, Silver Veil, and Jeweled Lotus. If all that info was a lot to take in, then check out the cheat sheet for this comp. It's available for patrons and YouTube members. Here is the Lux cheat sheet from the last set, so you know what to expect for the Katarina reroll cheat sheet that is available right now. In the early game, you want to ideally end up with some variation of Kennen and Lilia frontline with a carry. The ideal opener is to hit Nico and Evelyn with them, but any other backline carry that can hold AP items like Annie or Nami will also work. Hitting Katarina is also nice, but she is not that strong until we put items on her. In the early game, we can play both a Lost Streak and a Win Streak playstyle, since we aren't slow rolling until level 6. We pretty much play this as if we were playing any other standard leveling comp. Also make sure to not use up Glove, Rod, or Tear for any items that are not JG and Hodge, as we need to save those components for Katarina, and try to focus on building JG first, as the double Hodge Katarina won't do too much damage. Once we get to stage 3, we can roll a bit at level 6 on stage 3 too. This is to find more pieces of the comp, and also to find Katarina as the headliner. You will do this in cases where you have been mostly lost streaking so far, but you won't do this if you've been win streaking. Ideally you will just sell your headliner once you reach level 6, so that here you can just slow roll at level 6 and look for Katarina 3 star, and also get her as the headliner. Once slow rolling, make sure to sell off your headliner first. This is because we get a new headliner in every shop when we don't have one active. This allows us to consistently get a good headliner. Again, note that Crowd Diver Katarina is needed to do well with this comp. 
The only time you will pick up a country Katarina as the headliner is when you are in a bad spot where you are low on HP and gold. But note that if you skip country Katarina, then the next Katarina headliner that shows up is guaranteed to be a crowd diver headliner. By stage 5 one, you will need to start thinking about rolling down for 3 stars if you haven't done so already. The reason for this is that on stage 5 one, almost every player will all in at level 8, and here we will take a lot of damage if we don't power spike with them. Once you've hit all your 3 stars, you will start to push levels. At level 7, you will add in whichever unit fits. Zack is the best, as you can use him as the EDM sample to get some more CC into your team. At level 8, you will always play 6 crowd divers. This is pretty much the only board that you will ever play at level 8. The only other is if you had to pick up a country Katarina. And if you're not able to hit Kiana, then you can play tanks instead of the crowd divers until you find her. Now moving on to general positioning with this comp, which looks like this. Your positioning will vary based on the KDA hexes, but overall, it wants to look like this board as much as possible. There are some units you want to place in the KDA hexes as often as possible, and they are Katarina, Nico, Evelyn, Lilia, as well as Zed and Kiana. It's nice if you can get the others in as well, but don't sacrifice positioning to get a little extra HP onto Kennen and Yon, as these are mostly synergy bots. Protecting the Katarina is very important. Make sure to always have her behind your strongest tank, which is Nico. You also want to have Kiana and Zed on each of the flanks, so they can hopefully walk down to the backline. Also note that Kiana deals a ton of damage to enemies with no items, so make her target those if possible. Now moving on to some in-depth examples. Against the first guy, the big threat is Misfortune and Bard. Zed and Kiana are on the sides to hopefully walk down into the backline. Katarina is some distance away from Echo and MF, so that she does not get stunned by Echo or hit by the secondary shot from Misfortune spell. Against the second guy, the big threat is Annie. Much of the same strategy applies here, as the frontline and backline setup is very similar. We have Kiana and Zed on the outskirts to go down into the backline. Here we also have Evelyn and Yon on the right side. This is to make sure that Annie is the farthest away from them. This results in Annie getting CC'd once these crowd divers die. We also have Katarina farther away from Annie, so that she is hopefully targeted by her last. Against the third guy, the big threat is Samira. Here the left side and the front of Samira is heavily protected, so that we have all our crowd divers on the right side, so that they jump onto Samira once they die. We also want Kiana to target Thresh, so that Katarina doesn't get chain CC'd by him. You can also check out this guide in a written format over on Tactor, and if you want to see more of my written guides over there, then check out my profile to see more of the other content I've created on that platform. Thank you so much for watching, if you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want cheat sheets for any of my comp guides, they're available for you to members and patrons, and the links to join those are down in the description. And if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord. We got over 9,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care and see you in the next video.